I'm Tyler Clevin from the USA World Junior Team and an Ottawa Senators prospect. And I'm coming in on Only Touch Greatness podcast. Looking for the most beers on tap? Great steaks, great staff. Head over to the John B. Pub. We got the best beers, steaks, chicken wings, nachos in town. Come see us at the John B. Pub. The John B. Pub, the best bar in town. Come sign up for our football pool. Say hey, St. You. Turn it up. The number one sports podcast in Vancouver with Ryan Hayes and Big Mike. Ryan Hayes and Big Mike are taking over the podcast scene in Vancouver. Get down or lay down. Lay Lay down. down. The 44th selection in the 2020 NHL Draft will be announced by Trent Mann, Chief Amateur Scout for the Ottawa Senators. With pick 44, the Ottawa Senators are proud to select from the United States National Development Team Program and the University of North Dakota, Tyler Clevin. Tyler Clevin, defenseman, NTDP, the USHL. He's from Fargo. Oh, yeah, you betcha, yeah. From North Dakota, expected to play. I'm sorry, lots of sorry. Old, old sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry, sorry. About sorry. That. sorry. Canadian jokes, yeah. Sorry. Expected to play for the University of North Dakota this year. It's hockey here. There's a delayed reaction. Oh, trust me, he's fired up right now. The three-time Stanley Cup champion, Matt Collins, actually his hero. And his dad, Chris, played hockey at Northern Michigan U during the 80s. He was a key figure in Tyler's development, coaching him from fifth to eighth grade. Love those bloodline Sam Cosentino yeah no question about it that always seems to play doesn't it here's a guy who grew up going to Fargo Force games in the USHL to watch because obviously he had an interest from his dad but there's a real trend here going on when you look at what the Ottawa Senators are doing they are clearly going about this the right way building from the back end out the acquisition of Murray if you look at Jake Sanderson yesterday from the program obviously a lot of eyes on him so surely they would have seen a lot of Tyler Clevin So the point totals aren't going to dazzle here, but this is a big, mean, nasty, physical, stay-at-home defenseman. Josh Brown, the guy they just uh, acquired in a trade and signed from Florida, he's very much like that. He played for DJ Smith on a Memorial Cup winning team. Thomas Shabbat, big guy. Sanderson, big guy. Clevin, big guy. So what are they doing? Go get the big goaltender in Murray, get a whole bunch of trees to put in front of him, find some skill up front, and then let DJ Smith work his magic. So I love what Pierre Dorian is doing here. When it comes to Clevin, though, I had a chance to talk to him at the BioSteel All-American game, and this guy was super serious. And again, really good in terms of self-identifying exactly what he is, what he wants to be, and what he's going to be at at the next level. It's using <laughs> that size and being mean and nasty and difficult to play against. Uh, well said, Cos. And you're big, mean, and tough. That'll big play well when tough. it comes to hockey, doesn't it, it? It feels like Ottawa is building out their team. Like With pick 44, the Ottawa Senators are proud to select from the United States National Development Team Program and the University of North Dakota, Tyler Clevin. Tyler Clevin, defenseman, NTDP, the USHL. He's from Fargo. Oh, yeah, you betcha, yeah. Let's go, Clevin! Thanks, man. All right, I got to go pack up and get to the airport, so thank you. I think it's very uh, a, pr- a proud feeling for him, I know, for sure, and it's a proud feeling for our program. You know, obviously the state of North Dakota has produced some good players over the past few years, but with uh, the rise of uh, youth hockey in this state, uh, it's nice to see Tyler lead the way here a little bit as far as knowing that, you know, if you work hard enough and you have a passion, you have a focus and drive and determination, you can uh, try to re- reach the highest level. And albeit being drafted, you know, there's a long way to go for him stepping on the ice in an NHL game. But, you know, he's made a great progression from youth hockey to uh to work to college hockey now and, and hopefully at the NHL level.
one knows a good prospect. It's Vancouver's Ryan Hayes and Big Mike. Okay. Uh, so Tyler, uh, born in North Dakota. Uh, tell us a little about uh, your hockey story, kind of uh, where you started and uh, where you now ended up with North Dakota. Yeah, started out in Fargo, North Dakota, playing for uh, just the the teams uh, in that area with the Squirts and then uh, Pee Wees, Bantams, and then uh, all the way up to high school, played there. Um, after high school, after my sophomore year, went to the national team development program and played there for two years and then uh, went off to – North Dakota, so. And you play any other sports growing up? I kind of bounced around. We were playing baseball when I was younger, and um, never really was into football, anything like that. But just like any sport, basketball, um, my friends always play with me. It's fun. Okay, okay. And uh, any nicknames? What's your favorite jersey number and why? Any nicknames? Uh just club and uh, my jersey number is twenty five. Okay, who's your roommate? I got Kaiser. Oh, um, right, okay. good friend of the show. Friend of the show. We like that yeah. guy. Yeah, he's just right behind me right now. Oh yeah, he's so. a beauty. <laughs> and uh, who do you guys? Uh, who would you say uh, you mirror your game after trying play like? Um, I think I, I, I really watching Brandon Carlo, the Boston Bruins, just a uh, big physical two way defenseman, um, more on the shutdown side. Um, doesn't, he's not super flashy and put up a ton of numbers, but just super reliable guy that, um, you know, will hop in games and, and do the dirty work. And what's one aspect of your game you're looking to improve on? I'm always looking to improve on the offensive side, to uh, get my chances, getting pucks through, uh, creating more scoring opportunities. Always, I'm looking to do, but um, always looking to be some mind. Okay. And uh, any pregame rituals or routines for you? Um, I, I have the same routine pretty much every time. Nothing easy. Just uh, get to the rink. Uh, warm up usually film so i'll get dialed in and um yeah nothing crazy what are some of your hobbies outside of sports i'm really into football uh that's something that i picked up over the summer um jasper rather be the san jose sharks kind of got me into that and uh um played that a lot this summer um i like to go fishing and uh spend a lot of time and 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 that's kind of like the main thing. So, okay, okay. And uh, take us back to uh, 2020 when you were drafted uh, 44th overall to the Ottawa Senators. Bring us back to draft day. Yeah, really, yeah, really exciting moment for myself and my family. Just uh, we're all at the Ralph Engelstad Arena and uh, just um, having my family there watching on the big screen. Uh, it would have been nice to be in person to meet all the Senators, but. Uh, that yeah, was a big moment and uh, a lot of fun. Do you have any hidden talents? Hidden talents. Um, hmm. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not kind of top of my head right now. But. Okay. And uh, you've obviously been uh, lucky enough to represent your country uh, numerous times, and uh, you're doing it again on the World Juniors. Uh, congratulations on the gold last year. Uh, what did it, tell us a little about uh, putting on that jersey and what it felt like uh, bringing home the gold medal? Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, it was really, really big just to get that experience. I didn't really get to play a whole lot last year, but just being around the guys and practicing with uh, with the Zegerses and the Caulfields and the Turcots and, and all those big names, just, uh, yeah, it was a big deal for me to go there and uh, just, like I said, get the experience and, um, I get to throw on the jersey and go out for the last couple seconds of the world uh, or the gold medal game, and that was a really cool experience, and uh, hopefully we can do that again this year. If you were having a dream dinner party and you can invite three famous people dead or alive, who are you wanting to bring? Oh, man. Oof, that's a tough one. Um, I'll go with uh, um, Tom Brady, just uh, – 
the goat Good football. Uh, uh, I'm reading Mark Messier's book right now. I think that he's super interesting and um, just an unreal leader. Um, just seems like a great guy too. Probably have him and then uh, our guy. Um, let's probably go with uh, like Tiger Woods or something like that. So somebody that's yeah. been. Uh, you know, in sport, just absolutely dominated everything. And, uh, yeah, so probably those three guys are okay. Three. I always, okay. Yeah, I always go with the Tupac, Seth Rogen, and then Paulina Gretzky's my new pick. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what's your favorite row barn in the NCAA so far? Um... Let's see, I, I mean, I, I really like against uh, CC or, or Denver. Um, they're, they're both uh, pretty fun barns to play in. The altitude gets you sometimes, but uh, yeah, I really the new rink that CC has it was uh, a lot of fun. Um, we had a lot of um, Sioux fans come down there too, so that was uh, that was a lot of fun. Okay. Sweet. And uh, if you were an animal, what would you be? Probably be uh, like a tiger or something like that. Just uh, nobody wants to mess with you and uh, just uh, an absolute beast. So I always go with a dolphin because I look like a dolphin. I got no hair and a nose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, take me back to your first uh, NCAA goal. And do you still have the puck? Uh, yeah, I still have the puck. I see that at my mom and my dad's house. And uh, yeah, that was really cool. Um, Came down and uh, on the left side and little dragon and then got on net and then they went in. Um, definitely a big one, huge suit in my entire life. And uh, that was just kind of like a, an eye opening moment just to be a part of that and uh, be wearing the UE jersey. And yeah, it's definitely a, a little bit of a dream come true. If there was a rookie initiation or a karaoke singing contest and you had to pick one song what song are you singing oh um shoot um i have no clue um <laughs> <laughs> what's a good uh karaoke song, kaiser living on a prayer living on a prayer i'll go with that one okay if you ever yeah, need, that's a good one. if you ever need, and you get stumped and can't find one, go with tequila. It's got one word. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be easy. And I'm gonna hit you with uh, two trivia questions. One is, uh, how many beers fit in the Stanley Cup? Twelve, fourteen, or eighteen? Um, go with uh, just in like the the cup area in the top, like the top yeah. part. Yeah, go with fourteen. You got her. You got her. And uh, number two, uh, how much does the Stanley Cup weigh? 34 and a half, 36 and a half, or 40 and a half pounds? 40 and a half. 34 and a half on that one. Oh, Close, though. Half. <laughs> okay. What about favorite sports movie? Favorite sports movie? Um, I, uh, I'd probably go with uh, Miracle. That's uh, kind of an easy one. So. Yeah, especially for the Americans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How many times? How many times you honestly think you've seen that? Way too many. Just every bus trip I've ever <laughs> been on. Just we watch it. All my friends sleepovers back in the days. So, yeah, it's just an awesome movie. So, oh yeah, absolutely. And uh, what color is your stick tape and uh, your favorite Gato color? Uh, I use black uh, tape and my favorite Gato color. I like the white, uh, the glacier freeze. I think that's what it is. So pretty good. Yeah, that one's good. That Mike, one's hit good. him with the other draft question that you know. The bill. Uh, the bill oh yeah, one. if there's a hundred, yeah, if there's a hundred dollar bill at the bottom of a toilet, twenty dollar bill on the counter. Uh, which one are you going for? Probably gonna go with the on the counter. Just take the safe route. Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the reason for that is they want to, the scouts want to hear you got your hands dirty, but you're already drafted, so it doesn't matter. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly. And uh, uh, go ahead, do you have a do you have a go yeah do you have a go to song before games or like a pump up song? And uh, who's the DJ for this tournament? 
Um, DJ for those terms is probably going to be Slugger. He's uh, he's got a lot of good songs. Just or Sanderson, they both uh, loved uh, um, always searching iTunes or his Apple Music. And uh, um, I, know, I probably like need it. Um, I don't know who's who's by, but Sanderson always throws it on the locker. I like it so. Okay. Okay. What about favorite sports franchise? And it doesn't have to be hockey. Um, yeah, well, obviously I kind of go with the Sanders, but other than that, uh, uh, I'd probably like, uh, just like the Chicago Blackhawks. I've, I've always grown up watching those guys and, uh, just with Jonathan Taze on there, Patrick Kane, just always loved watching those guys growing up and, uh, I was, uh, yeah, it was definitely my favorite team. Okay. And uh, for the people that don't know, uh, can you describe your game or playing style? A uh, big physical two-way defenseman that uh, shutdowns plays uh, can be, um, you know, game-changing hits at times and can uh, can contribute offensively too. Okay, Mike, I'm gonna hit yeah, a, I'm gonna hit yeah, go a ahead. Couple, a couple of these quick ones. Yeah, uh, favorite cereal. Uh, shoot, probably long term. Okay. Okay. Favorite favorite Halloween costume. Um, I think <laughs> funniest Halloween costume ever was a carrot. <laughs> okay. I, okay. Uh, it was like six years old for some reason, but that's the funniest. I like it. <laughs> my favorite. My favorite one is I always dress up as a. I always dress up as Don Cherry and go to Canuck games. Oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Favorite actor or favorite actress? Uh, I like uh, Will Ferrell. Okay, good choice. Uh, yeah. And deep sea or outer space? Hmm. Probably go with outer space. Just a lot of unknown. Yeah. Spring, summer, fall, or winter? The fall. Just uh. Hockey, season. hockey season's coming around the corner. Um, ponds are freezing. Good times. Yeah. Okay. Cat or dog? Dog. Uh, okay. Good choice. And pancakes or waffles for the rest of your life if you had to eat one of them? Uh, definitely waffles. We have a, a waffle machine at the Ralph and have one every once in a while. Really good. Okay. Are you an early bird or a night owl? Probably a bird. Like that. Okay. Get up uh, Halloween or Fourth of July? Fourth of July. Okay. Always spend Come on, that's night. that's a no that's a no brainer, man. Come on, yeah. right? <laughs> I know, I know, right? <laughs> um, and I, th- we might have to ask Kaiser this one. Do you snore? Uh, do I snore? Do you snore? No, I say no. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Tyler, I just wanted to uh, thank you so much uh, for taking the time for us today and coming on and chat with us. And uh, we're obviously big fans of you, and we know you're going to go far in hockey, and we can't wait to cheer you on all the way, man. We appreciate it. And we're going to be watching you this tournament, keeping an eye on all our friends from the team. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you guys hey, for having me. I really appreciate it.